How you going? I'm Paul Bogue. I'm here just to show you if you're lucky enough to get out fishing, catch yourself a nice snapper like this. There's a few things you can do with it once you get it home, ready to cook and eat up for you. First thing I'll start with is I'll show you how to just roughly scale it. Now, no fancy equipment, just a normal kitchen knife from home. Everyone should have one. What you want to do is start the back out and come forward, dragging forward, always working from back to front. And the scales will pop off like so. And we'll work our way over the whole fish, all the way up to the head here, all the way along there. Just slowly dragging up come the fillets. Mindful of all these sharp spikes either side. There's also some on here. Be mindful, working close to the edges, nice and close all the way around. Doing your best as you can to remove all the scales from the whole body. Going over the whole fish, making sure we're moving all the scales we can. One half, so I can show you one half, how to scale one half, and I'll show you how to fill the other half with the scales on. But you can just scale the whole fish, cook the fish whole. So if that's the case, we need to gut the fish. Demonstrating how to gut the fish. We'll start down here, just in front of the anal fin. We work our way up. In between here, will be a little bit tough. Look up to the front here, we'll try and open his gills. You want to cut down in between here. Remove his gills as well. So he'll be gilled and gutted. I don't recommend you cutting towards yourself, I'm just trying to do it for the demonstration. Look in here, we can open him up and see all these internal organs in there. Last little piece there, and he's opened right up in there. Also, we want to remove all his stomach contents. No pleasant way to do this, it's just getting your hands in there, so grabbing hold of it, and tearing it out. Sure, trying to remove all the last of the gills. Cut through his, his hair bladder there. You can see in here, once we open it up a bit, there's a bloodline along the spine there. You can do, cut that bloodline. And we'll have it up and we can use a spoon or the back of your thumb just to remove the blood from that bloodline. Once you've got all that out, we can then just wash, the, wash this out. Alrighty, once we've got to this point, when we've scaled the fish, and we've gutted and gilled the fish, cleaned it up, so we've got a few different options we can do with it. We can bake the fish, cook the fish whole, or we can stake the fish. So it's cutting the fish, the steak's roughly that thick, roughly 25 centimeters, 25 millimeters or an inch thick, the whole way along. Going right through the bone, all the way, up with nice steaks. This fish today, we're going to show you how to fillet it. We'll start off by teaching you how to fillet it. Starting up here, nice high, up near the head, and following the bone, structure underneath the head, all the way around. Way up to the top of the head. What we can do, let me just set the knife here. Follow along, just along the spine, all the way along. Do the same on the underside.
go down, just slightly lift the fillets, and just follow that bone along. Lifting the fillet as we go. What we're going to do up here is we're going to follow the ribs over. Rather, rather than cutting through them, follow over the top of the ribs. We end up with our fillet. And from there, what you can do you've got the bloodline, a few pin bones through here, and the bloodline falls along. Just follow closely to that. All the way down, going through the skin. There's one nice filler there, and the same on this side. Remove the last of those bones and a bit of the blood on. Here's the second part of your fillet. Two nice fillets there, and then cut them in half, cut them any size you like just to cook them up. Slice nicely through with a nice fillet, ready to cook. Place these ones out of the way. I'll show you how to do the other side. Okay, now the other option we have is leave the fish intact, scales on, and just fill it in with the scales on. Once again, starting in here, following his head, following the bone around. Pull the bone right around there. Now this method you can do by leaving leaving him not gutting and leaving the guts inside. You don't need to gut him to do this method. Same deal as the other side. Just following that bone along. Now give you a look. Lifting the fillet, following the bone. Once we feel that we're getting on top of these ribs, we should be able to place the fish over. Place our hound firmly on the on the fillet, and actually just lift the, lift the, the bones. Move like that. All the bones stay here on the fish. And there's your perfect fillet. There comes out. Still got the skin on him. So we have to remove the skin off him as well. This here, still plenty of good meat on that. You can cook that up whole. You can remove these here. A little bit of bone in there. That's what people cook up and call snapper wings. I tend to get the scissors and just trim off the fins itself. Just fry them up. Plenty of good meat still in there. Plenty of actually good meat still in the head. So we won't, we won't discard that straight away. We'll put that out to the side. Now with a long fillet knife, I can get all the way through and fill it in one go. Because I've got the smaller knife, what I tend to do is go just inside the pin bones all the way down. Mind for some scales on the end of your knife. So once we split that the whole way through, got our two fillers there. We can then remove the bones that are sticking out here. Pin bones are in there. Follow that bloodline all the way down. Moving that bloodline and those bones. There's just full of all the bones that come out 90 degrees. And we spine. And a few of these scales out the way. Like I said, once we've got this bit here, still got the scales and the skin on this side, 
just going to remove the skin, place the knife in here, working our way down to the skin, holding onto the skin, and then back and forth sawing action the whole way along. Scales there. Roll him over like that, there's the skin. Skin removed. Off comes his skin. Nice perfect fillet. Said that fill then is just to be cut up into sizes, ready to eat. And simply just slice through. Make up whatever portion size you're wishing to cook. Mission!